Hi folks, welcome to or welcome back to Exposed and if I'm welcoming you back and you like it here I hope you'll sub and stay. I've had a couple of comments about the sound again that I'm really quiet and that Lisa's really loud. Is anybody else having that problem? Because I thought I had it sorted. So we'll see how we go on this video and what happens. Right. The miracle skincare routine I've used for 10 plus years. I wonder if she's going to mention all the fillers and the Botox that she's had as well. Or is it just going to be the Abaji Nudam? Normally I wouldn't do this video. The reason I'm doing it is for the facial expressions because I know her putting on skincare is going to be hysterical. I just love watching how she moves her mouth from one side of her face to the other. <laughs> if you haven't seen that before, you're in for a treat, hopefully. Shall we jump in? Hey guys, so before I get in the shower... Before I get in the shower... Has she stood there in the fucking nude doing this video? Really? Fucking hope not. This is my makeup from today. I did not wear lashes and hair. So what I usually do is take a cleansing balm. This is my favorite. I like Colleen Rothschild cleansing balm, but what makes this my favorite is this. You don't have to scoop your hands in it and then put the lid back on. I mean, that's how... First world problems and all. You get a little scoop and you put the lid on when you're finished. Really? <laughs> Colleen, really? You have to in invent. You have to use a pump from now on because poor little Lisa can't be doing with sticky fingers and, and lids and scoops and stuff. Far too difficult for her. You know she said... She doesn't like anything too difficult in the shower. That poor little bear. At least he got away from her. How easy this is. So I'm going to just take this. No, she's and... done it already with her mouth. Why does she do that? Just watch her mouth. It's the funniest thing ever. And then put the lid back on. I mean, that's how easy this is. So I'm going to just take this. And... Like start breaking up my mascara and all of my makeup <laughs> and then I just pulled this out to show you but I have the Obaji I have one in the is it my headphones or has she got the shower running while she's there cleaning her face wasteful as fuck and when is she going to say this is sponsored by Obaji <laughs> Or is she just going to go on all the links in the, the box below and hope everybody buys it so she's got more money to spend? Shower and then one out here for when I'm not taking a shower that night. And so I'm going to wash my face in the shower and then we'll continue after that. Okay. I just got out of the shower. And have I done... Why does she do that? So a lot, so fucking anyway. Just got out of the shower and it's like if you can't put a thought together, don't say anything. Stop elongating words to fill in dead space. You're not on the radio. Anything? All I did was my body lotion. I did the Orbe. I prefer the Moroccan oil lotions to this, but I'm going to use it. And then I. Oh, that's good of you put a little dropper of my necessary oil in it. So that's what I did on my body. Okay, I told you I used this before I went in the shower and then I used the Obaji cleansing gel in there. Now, I have used Obaji for so many years, guys. Way before YouTube. So let's see, I've been on YouTube 14 years. So I would say I've been using Obaji about 16 what does that mean? On and off. Oh, I thought, duh, ignore me. I'm thinking she was talking about YouTube. She's talking about the skincare. 
mostly on. I did try some others just to compare. In years. The reason I started using it is because of melasma. Now, I didn't have terrible, terrible melasma, but it was so bad that every time I did my makeup, I had a place right here I had to cover. I had somewhat of a mustache. I had a place right here. You know, I had places I had to cover up. Oh, my fucking heart bleeds for you. Just wear concealer. Or a thicker fucking foundation. What do you think people do that can't go run into a dermatologist every three seconds? And can you ever shut the fucking bathroom door? And my skin just wasn't good. I will say, and those of you that have been here with me, there is an ugly phase. And a lot of people just can't handle it. And I don't blame them. I mean, it will get to the point where... <laughs> You want to cry when you think about doing your morning routine that has the expoderm in it, which we'll talk about that tomorrow morning. But nothing, nothing, nothing has ever made my skin feel and look the way it does. Like Skincare makes you want to cry. Really? Why does it make you not look pretty and sexy for a few days? Is that what it is? I can't. I can't deal with people whose only thought in life is their fucking looks. Shallow. I've seen puddles deeper than you, Lisa. Like Obaji. Even when I went to a dermatologist and she agreed how good Obaji worked, but she thought it was overpriced. So she had a compound pharmacist make me all of the ingredients of the Obaji and it still didn't work as well. I don't know what it is about their particular system, but it works so well for me. A lot of people ask me, why don't I try the Zo? I tried the Zo. I tried it. I tried this, I tried that. I called the company a couple of times to try to get some help from them. It just wasn't as good. It tore my skin up. I never could get it to the point where it did like this, where I just constantly had. Sorry, you never got it to the point where what? It did like this. Aren't you glad she didn't decide to be a teacher? Didn't she say at one point she was thinking of being a teacher? Can you imagine? And then she, we do like that. Fresh skin. So the foaming gel cleanser is from the normal to oily pack. There's normal to oily and then there's normal to dry and sensitive. And if you get that pack, you're going to get the creamy cleanser. But my skin is normal to oily. New Derm foaming gel gently removes makeup and everyday are you going to read it to us, really? You've used it for 10 years. You should know. Impurities for a clean, fresh complexion. It removes excess oil from the skin, leaving it feeling refreshed and touchably soft. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to use is the Obaji New Derm Toner. This is an essential step in your daily skincare routine. New Derm Toner helps maintain your skin's pH. Use after cleansing to remove impurities and dead skin and to prepare the skin for the appropriate products. So this is something else you've got to know. With Obaji, you have an AM routine and you have a PM routine. So, so don't you with most fucking skincare for some reason? There's day cream and night cream. I swear there's no fucking difference. Will somebody, if there's anybody in the uh, pharmaceutical... What's the word I've lost now? Area of work or whatever that knows. Is there an actual difference between... See, it's like I don't think there's any difference between day cream, eye cream, night cream. I think it's a, it's just a cream. It's moisturiser. I don't think any of them are any different. <laughs> Am I wrong? Somebody. So both in the AM and the PM, you will have your 
finding gel cleanser and it will say AM and PM. Oh, that's good, isn't it? They put that on there just for Lisa. <laughs> okay, then for the toner, you will use that in the AM and PM. No. And I use the CVS Ultra, it's the, it's, they're the um, extra thick premium cotton squares from CVS. And they're so good, so good. Oh, she doesn't use Shiseido anymore. Wasn't that the thing at one point? All the cotton clouds that she got everyone buying that I use for my nails. Just get some toner like that and... Everyone knows how to tone their I skin. Wipe over my face. Now, I used to think toner was not a waste, but maybe like just a frivolous extra step that felt good. But I really do think it gets your skin ready to absorb the next products. And it works. It fucking, uh, words. It sorts your pH balance. That's what toner does. There is a point to it. Um, does she use it on her neck? No. And it always gets off any residual that you didn't get off. Oh, she does. Good. So, and I carry everything down my neck. I have a lot of people ask me what I do to get my neck looking good. And I'm like, it does? Because to me, I need some work done on my neck. But I don't know if I told you this or not. But I went to go see. Yeah, do you know what she told me? It was, ah, <laughs> help. I asked her once, donkeys years ago, what she used on her neck. And she said the Egyptian magic cream. And it's like, I thought it was some magic cream. It's not. It's Vaseline, basically. It's just like some sort of balm. And it's like, it wasn't... No, I'm not... No disrespect to the Egyptian magic cream because I know a load of people swear by it. But I don't think it was that that was doing her neck at the time. She has peels and she has this, that and the other. And she uses fucking medical grade skincare. But she never mentioned any of that back then. A plastic surgeon, I think I have told you this, about my neck, and he told me I was nowhere near ready. And he is a conservative doctor, but I trusted him. I didn't, I want to just do what's right. I don't want to jump the gun. So there is the toner. But it's like there's nothing wrong with your fucking neck. What do you see? What do you see, really, Lisa? And why can't you wait until it actually needs doing instead of trying to do it ahead of time? See, that's the problem. You nitpick. You sit and stare at yourself all day and you nitpick at things that don't need doing. And then you get stuff done and then your skin changes after that and then you're fucked. But you can't be doing with waiting a few years with it looking a bit off and then making it right. No, it couldn't possibly look bad at any point, could it? Okay. At night and in the morning, you are going to use Obagi 3. This is one of the prescription items in this. So don't think that you can get these things online. You have to go to a dermatologist or a plastic surgeon, dermatologist, plastic surgeon, or a med spa to get these. Okay, so the number three clear is something that you use at night and in the morning. Effective prescription. Oh, I see now. When she looks down, it slightly wrinkles at the bottom of her, of her neck. That's obviously what she's poking and looking at. And it's like, it, the rest of it looks amazing. When your head's up, it looks amazing. So leave it the fuck alone. Don't go messing with something that doesn't need to be messed with and end up fucking up something else. Because that's what you keep doing. You're playing a game of fucking dominoes. You fix one thing that doesn't need fixing and a whole load of other things fall over. And I hate that. Why can't people just be honest? Oh, I use medical grade skincare. 
I've been given this from a dermatologist. I've had proper work done. I don't just have the normal wash my face and put on moisturiser thing. I've got absolutely top ingredients working for me. Or, oh, wow, you're, you're, you know, your face looks so tight. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh, no. That's because you've had a facelift, isn't it? I hate people who aren't fucking honest. Stop lying. If I say to somebody, wow, that looks great, I'd rather someone said to me, yeah, I've had whatever done or I've, I use this skincare. At least be fucking honest about it. 4% hydroquinone that helps correct hyperpigmentation such as dark spots, sunspots, age spots, melasma, and other types of discoloration for a healthier looking, more even skin tone. Prescription required. Contact your healthcare provider to purchase or find a physician nearby. <laughs> she had to read the last bit, didn't she? She'd be the, like, was it Biden that did that? Stop reading now. This is the auto cue. Turn left. Look at this. That'd be her. See? Prescription strength. Ten years she's been using it. Surely you get that to deal with a problem. She doesn't have the melasma now. So why, why is she still using that? Why is she still being prescribed it? So every night I use that and when you first start like i remember having it laid out and saved in the box because i had to learn my steps and it will even show really there's numbers on the fucking bottles show you on the back of the pamphlet how much to use but at this point i know how much so i usually rub it in my hands and <laughs> don't you love the mouth rub it all over like i used to forget or i would do like this and do like this but i wasn't getting in here I do like this and do like this. Really? Really? Lisa, for fuck's sake. I'd rub it here and there and forget about the bit in the middle. I do like this. And so now I've learned to go up in here. And then, like I said, I bring everything down. So at night, it's a little bit different. At night, you have your... Don't bring it down, bring it up, Lisa. Your blender, and then you have your Retin-A, your Tretinoin. Now this is... Why does she need Hydroquinone and Tretinoin? If they're doing the same thing. And as I said, why is she getting all this prescription medication when she hasn't got the problem anymore? Vanity. My name is Lisa. It is kind of like the wild card that you can switch around. I use the Altrino. For years, I used the Rafisa, which was an emollient tretinoin. And it's kind of, as, as tretinoins go, it was kind of mild because it had that emollient base. They quit making that and then they came out with this. And my uh, dermatologist called this in for me. It is um, tretinoin lotion 0.05%. Now, a lot of people have told me that I should move up to the 1%, but you know what? Why? Why does she need to move up? There is nothing wrong with her skin. Look at it. I don't understand. If she lived here and went to a dermatologist with a face like that, they'd be like, what the fuck are you here for? You only get recommended to somebody like that if you can't see your face for the acne. That's the only reason anyone here ever gets referred to a dermatologist. If you went in with melasma, they'd be like, oh, well, it comes with the territory. When you have kids, it will go in a bit. <laughs> Not, oh, let us give you a prescription for super strength cream that's going to take everything off your face and make you look 10 years younger. Just because you can afford to pay for the fucking thing. This is working just fine. I don't want to rock the boat. I use this every night. It works well, so I'm going to stick to it. So I'm going to put just like a uh, pea-sized amount. I usually just get like that much. 
and then we read to you what the blender is. The Abaji New Durham blender is effective 4% hydroquinone that helps correct hyperpigmentation such as dark spots, sunspots, age spots, melasma, and other types of discoloration for healthier looking, more even skin tone. Um, same thing. But what you do is you put the blender with your tretinoin and you mix these together and like the girl told me, kaboom, the retin-A, one of them, I think it was a retin-A she said was like a little man with a backpack and he puts the tretinoin in his backpack and he takes it down deep into your skin. Well, <laughs> what did she? What did you just? <laughs> There's a little man with a backpack. <laughs> Is that how they had to explain it to her? Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Who used to do that? Boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! If they have to talk to her like that at the fucking dermatologist office, they shouldn't be given a fucking hydroquinone and retin-A. Little man in his backpack. I've heard it all now. And so it goes really deep and really corrects. Remember when I used to have a lot of discoloration right there and right here from the sun? Yeah. But you still go out in the fucking sun, don't you? Like a dickhead and sit out in it, even though you're paying all the money for this thing and IPL peels and all the rest of it. You're stupid. Should we get that as a thing? Oops, wrong button. I don't think that's that bad, but we'll take that for now. I'll try and get one with her mouth on the wrong side of her head. They're funny. I'm still giggling about the little man and his backpack. Lederma, <laughs> I still have it a little bit, but just doing this has helped tremendously, tremendously. Like I even had IPL, I've had the blue, blue light, blue ray, some other kind of laser to try to help that. Nothing has helped like Obaji New Derm. I just, I will forever sing the praises. It's nothing that I can sell to you. It's just what works. So that is my skincare for the night. Now, another thing I like is this Sunday Riley Auto Correct Eye Cream. And I usually just put a little pump on the back of my hand and kind of rub it in. And I put it here. Why do you rub it into the back of your hand? What's the point of that? And I put it here. And I've told you before, if I didn't use Obagi, I would probably use the Sunday Riley because I've just heard such good things. And then the girl that does my hair, Morgan, her skin just looks beautiful with it. And as you see, I kind of take it and slip my eyebrows back with it because it's going to kind of sink in and crawl down, you know, around my eye. Maybe the little man with the backpack will collect that and take it down for you when he's finished doing the other job. Nice. So here it is. And then I put everything back up. In Away. This nasty little bag. How many fucking bags has she been given over the time and she's using that thing? And Why can't she just stick it in the wash one day? Put it down here. And then my cleansing ball goes down here too. And then I take my... Why don't you just leave your cleansing balm out when you're using it day and night? That's just silly. All that space. At least leave the fucking essentials out. See, look. Closet's open, light's on. Wasteful. My City Beauty Clear, which you can see I'm almost out of already. And I 
do my lips. Then I take my Revita Lash. This is like an anniversary bottle. It's the same that you see in the silver and blue. And then I do one stripe. Over. You're supposed to do it on your eyelashes, not on your eyelid. I try not to get it too wet. Do one stripe on both of those. And that is it for my nighttime skincare routine. Now I'm going to do another video that I will attach somehow. If I don't do it in a card, I will do it down below, but I'm going to do my hair routine. I'm going to show you how I curl it with the dry bar wand. So if you're interested in that, no. you'll have to watch that also. And I will see you in the You'll have to watch that also. No, I won't. No. The morning with my skincare routine. Wow, she looked better before she did her hair. Okay, good morning, guys. Okay, so the first thing I do, I just walked in the bathroom and I did a hair video also last night. So if you want to see that and the end result, watch that. I will try to link them back and forth. But this is me coming straight into the bathroom after being upstairs and I just took my Invisalign out and what I usually do is so you're still using Invisalign? Oh, is that just for night time, the retainer thing? Come in here and get my skincare Who's bag that? out. I can't believe she's showing that bag. <laughs> All the money she wastes on shit and she's got a scuzzy, horrible bag under a sink. Start running some hot water. I'm going to let it run until it gets hot. Okay, then I will use my, like today I'm going to do a video. So today I'm going to use my Lumify Drops. And so I just put in, it's almost out, one drop per eye. Of course. Okay, and I've got my face cloth right here oh you're telling me you need to run your tap that long for hot water well, i don't believe you and they say them drops you're not supposed to use them all the time I will. but when you're as vain as lisa who listens to the rules i'll use my same foaming gel from last night I suds up. So I really get in my eyelashes. I go all down my neck. And then I lift. And, oh. These things. Why don't you use it as a face cloth instead of a towel? That's what it's for. You could use anything to dry your face off. You're supposed to actually wash your face with that, Lisa. I go and I get everything under my eyes. I thought you did that last night in the shower. And one thing, I would say the biggest thing besides hyperpigmentation that I can tell Obagi is just unmatched is your texture. Before, every time I tried anything, I constantly had flaky, lacy skin. It was like I... What's lacy skin? Never could get that balance of the skin um, being exfoliated I would have to do something to get it off and then it seems like it would be so damaged that then i was finding things like recovery creams to put it back on with obaji you just always have i mean i could take a brush and just swirl 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 foundation and it does not give me any texture 
before, like right here, I always had, it almost felt like a beard. It was always like rough skin, like right in here. And it's just, now my skin is so smooth. And I'm not... I'm... Yeah, aren't you lucky that you can afford to pay for that? Oh, really, guys, you should do this too. Yeah, well, there's people out there doing two and three jobs to try and feed their children. Mm -hmm. I mean, I always think about saying this. I'm not making any money off of this. Of course I'm not, but... Oh, you think you should be, though, don't you? You really do. I just, it's a miracle. And, you know, I know that I go on and on about it, but it's just the way I feel. So now I'm using the same toner that I used last night, and you'll see it has AM and PM. And I am very drawn to systems, like steps and systems. And that's something that I think I like about Obaji, and I think that's something that I like about that Sunday Riley, the way she has a AM and PM skincare system. Every skincare routine is a system. You put it together and they're steps, and you do the same thing every morning and every night when you find what works for you. Just because it hasn't got one, two, three written on the bottle doesn't... I like that. So that's something else that is an advantage. Okay, so after I've toned everything, I usually brush my teeth at this point. So I will brush my teeth and let that toner kind of do its thing. Okay. And now step number three, I'm getting, end of this one. This is also AM and PM. And remember, step number three is the hydroquinone 4%. Maybe if you left them out on the counter, they would automatically be ready to use and you wouldn't have to keep shaking them around because you just throw them in a heap under the sink. So I take this and like I said, make sure you're going up in between your brows. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to pause somewhere. So AM and PM. And remember, step number three is the hydroquinone 4%. I'm a child. I, I know. this and... Pure child. And I will continue to be a child, Lisa, until you apologize to the lady in the elevator. See? I know you're watching. Because you answer me in every video you do now. So how about you do that? Say sorry for what you said about the woman in the, the elevator. Just admit defeat. You were wrong. Like I said, make sure you're going up in between your brows. bring everything down my neck and then we don't use the blender and the tretinoin during the day we just use the Exferderm Forte now if you have sensitive skin or if you get the new derm dry sensitive kit you're going to have just regular Exferderm I since I have the oily normal to oily skin I get the Exvederm Forte. And that just means it's a little stronger. It is New Derm Exvederm Forte is a lightweight lotion with glycolic and lactic acids that exfoliates and removes old, dull skin while promoting a natural skin turnover for a noticeably smoother, brighter complexion. Oh, I've just seen the price of that. 84. I'm going to whiz through this after and put the whole fucking cost of this thing on the screen if it comes up. So I get about that much. And I will say when you are going through the ugly phase, what the, what the ugly phase is, is that... 
when you make videos about people in an elevator and call them frumpy. I'd call that the ugly phase. Retin-A combined with the hydroquinone, just all of the things together, it will kind of, I always say it attacks the dark or the rough spots, but it does. And you will physically see the dark spots come off. Like I think, like I had a dark spot up here and you can see where it's red and that's, it just stays like that. I think because that's just where natural pigment would be and maybe it's a little bit rougher there. And you guys remember I used to have, oh, I used to have that dark spot under my eye. I still have it a little bit. I don't put a lot of stuff up there. And so that's what this does. So I take, oh, back to what I was saying. When you are going through that ugly phase, you may have some almost raw skin. Like if you've been here with me, even last year when I started this over, you saw how it looked like my chin was about to fall off. I mean, the skin just peels and peels and really over exaggerate much if she actually had something wrong with her skin what would she do she'd go into hiding do you know what a slap in the face this is to people that actually have real skin problems there's nothing wrong with yours it was all self-inflicted peels this will sting like a mofo, I'm telling you. You will dread. Oh, she doesn't swear, folks. You've got such a potty mouth and Lisa's such a saint. If she says mofo as quick as that, you know she's swearing in her real, real life. And putting this on. So you can go lightly on those spots, but this is what, it's all of it together that works. So I, like I say, go up in here. I do like that. <laughs> and just make sure I get this everywhere and then down my neck. That's where you're going wrong, Lisa. It goes up your neck, not down. And that is it. Now I usually put on my little lip balm. What about your SPF? Beauty. I go on to, now is usually when I get dressed, because I like to be dressed when I do my makeup. There's just something about it. And then I would start my makeup. So that gives this. There's just something about it. What? Little process, a few minutes to sink in. Now, questions you're going to ask me. Do I use sunscreen every day? No. I'm just going to be honest with you, <laughs> and I'll let you do what you want to do. This system does come with sunscreen, and I do, in the beginning, you will want that sunscreen because it's the zinc, white, real soothing kind, and it feels good. So when you are in that height of... See? See? You can't even follow the fucking rules when you say you like steps. There's a step and you just totally fucking ignore it. Because you don't care because you can afford to buy all this shit, to correct the problems that you're fucking making by not following the rules and not using a fucking sunscreen and sitting out and baking yourself on the beach. Being irritated, I would say use that sunscreen. Do I use any extra moisturizer? No, I don't. I'm kind of the old school Obagi. Back in the, when it first started, there was not a moisturizer, there was a sunscreen. Okay, now, uh, vitamin C. That's something I could be using and... Don't you think you put in enough shit on your face without adding vitamin C into the mix? And I might, I need to order, there's a SkinCeuticals uh, vitamin C type drops that I was using and I might order those again. I just ran out and I have kind of forgotten. So I haven't been using those for months, but this is, you know, how my skin looks. I still have some redness, and that is kind of probably like broken capillaries, things that skincare, you know, isn't going to address. I have had IPLs in the past, and it does help, but honestly, makeup covers everything. I don't have any real deep wrinkles. I would say, 
that's one thing I forgot is my eye cream. I would say around my eyes are my worst wrinkles. And honestly, I do myself a disservice by putting powder up underneath my eyes because they always look way more wrinkled in my videos than they actually are. And I think that's because I use that Laura Mercier powder underneath my eyes to set my concealer and I will forget to spray or I thought that used to be a major step dousing yourself in max fix plus and then going standing by your wall heater or whatever it was do you remember back in the day or she'd use a hair dryer and dry her face and then lardy started copying it <laughs> it's so sad these people you know, if I didn't use that powder, it may look better. But for some reason, I like the dimension that the powder gives me. That's something I'm kind of thinking about in my mind because... I love when she does. Something I'm kind of thinking about in my mind. <laughs> really? She's like a three-year-old. Honestly, my wrinkles aren't as bad for real as they are in a lot of my videos and i do get botox but oh she's saying <laughs> oh i'm sorry what i don't use i will put at the start or the end of the video for your enjoyment <laughs> as you can see it wears off so and I go to a dermatologist, not a med spa or a plastic surgeon, and she is just very, very conservative. She, you know, I don't get it around my eyes, obviously. I mean, you guys see, this is, it is what it is, right? So all in all, I just, I can't say it enough. Obashi. It's just, to me, it is the gold standard. It is the best. I know that there are some states that will not even sell it because of the 4% hydroquinone. Here again, I've talked to my old dermatologist who is so smart. I love her. She's the one that immediately diagnosed under my arms when I had a bad irritation. And she diagnosed when I used to have perioral dermatitis. She's just a really smart. She's the one that tried to make me an Obagi skincare system from the compound pharmacist. And she said, do not, matter of fact, I think she might have done 6% hydroquinone. She said that was ridiculous. That was, they were, um, it was people that were putting, it was in other countries, people were putting it all over their body to fade their skin, et cetera, et cetera. So then I asked my dermatologist now, who was supposed to be the best in town, she said she is not afraid of hydroquinone. She said they were actually giving it to rats internally and that's why it had an adverse effect but that's something that's up to you you have to decide that but i do know that why for the love of god why were they feeding it to rats i don't like rats they give me the heebie-jeebies but i wouldn't want to see them suffering like that fuck's sake oh I wonder what this will do if we inject it into their eyes. I swear some people just do it for the fucking fun of it. Some states will not even sell it. It's kind of like, you know, the tretinoin. We have to have a prescription for that. But in other countries, you just buy it in the drugstore. So there's different, you know, different guidelines for different things. So I am going to now go get dressed and put on my makeup and then I will be back with you in my hair video and show you the results of curling my hair with the Dyson wand. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye. bye, -bye. You're running out of cat pictures. We've seen this one before. Right. Well, thank you if you got to the end with me and let me know if you're having a problem with the volume and I'll I don't know what I'm going to do, but if, if there's lots of people, then it's obviously my end and I need to do something. Uh, I will catch you in the next one.